Hey, welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 9, today, verses 18 to 22, as Jesus is just feeding the 5,000. Now, he's just fed these thousands and thousands of people. What's going to happen next? We read, And it happened, as he was alone praying, that his disciples joined him, and he asked them, saying, Who do the crowds say that I am? So they answered and said, John the Baptist, but some say Elijah, and others say that one of the old prophets has risen again. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Peter answered and said, The Christ of God. And he strictly warned and commanded them to tell this to no one, saying, The Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders and chief priests and scribes, and be killed and be raised the third day. There's a lot we could focus on here. We've only got a moment. Uh, but let's just think about this. Jesus is praying, and the disciples come upon him. And so Jesus poses this question, who do the crowds say that I am? They just had uh, 5,000 men plus women and children in this recent incident. But they have fresh, uh, fresh words from the people. And so they think, yeah, some people think this, some people think that, some people, you know what, they, none of them were really quite there. Because then Jesus asks, who do you say that I am? And the confession is made, you are the Christ. You are the Messiah. And so that's very good news that Peter gets it. The disciples have been watching closely. They know that Jesus is the Son of God. And now he strangely tells them, don't tell anybody. And now he tells them and he begins to tell them something new. I'm going to have to suffer many things. I'm even going to be killed. And this had they had trouble getting this down between their ears. This was pretty weird. Sometimes there's things that, that aren't needed on the broader scale. The important thing here is that Jesus is the Messiah and the disciples are acknowledging that. The other people know there's something giant going on, but they don't quite have it pinned down yet. That's okay. Uh, but even Jesus' suffering, this begins to be revealed to the disciples. The fact that he's even going to be murdered, uh, even they don't really quite get it. But it's, that's not really put out in front of the crowd yet. There are things yet to come and God is revealing things in the measure in the way that people can receive it. So we want to be close to him. We want to be ready to receive. And the disciples are going to find it trouble to receive this message. He's going to have to tell it over and over again. And they're still not really going to get it right down even until the very end. So sometimes you and I are pretty slow. Sometimes the disciples uh, weren't quite all on board either. Friend, I want to ask what confession you make. Do you believe and accept that Jesus is the Messiah? Or was he just a remarkable teacher? Just one more blip in the history of interesting teachers. Uh, no, I believe he was he was God himself. He was God come in human flesh. And we want to keep that in mind. We're talking about the creator himself. His blessings are for you and I. Let us pray. Dear Father in heaven, look at this. We look at this confession that Jesus is Messiah. Jesus is the Christ. We want to make this confession today. Yes, 2,000 years later, Jesus is the Christ. Thank you, Lord, for this. Help us to to receive that fully, fully, and serve you fully. And Lord, help us to be able to hear some of the harder things that we're going to need at different places along the way, even things we're having trouble with. Prepare our hearts to receive them. Now, Lord, we thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So friend, the Lord's blessing be with you today as you serve him.